All right, I'm gonna make this really kind of as short and sweet as possible. You obviously clicked on this video. You wanted to know how to put ISOs onto your PSP when downloading them through MU Paradise. Well, MU Paradise likes to uh, kind of confuse things a little bit, and they send or when you download a file, it comes in a uh, RAR package. As you can see, the one that I have downloaded right there is. Uh, let it focus. Um, Rock Band Unplugged. It's in a RAR format, as you can see right there. Now, what you have to do is obviously plug in your PSP. I'm assuming you guys know kind of what you're doing, but I'm still going to go through it. Okay. You click on your download. Uh, I'm going to minimize this. Um, you'll have this. What you got to do is click and drag out to the, the desktop. Let it do its little thing here. Uh, shouldn't take too long, so I'll keep it on here for right now. Um, there is a uh, another tutorial on how to do this, but the guy kind of takes forever to go through it, and he messes up half a million times, and you get really confused. So I'm just showing you the straightforward way of doing it. Okay, now what we've got here is we have the folder that I just put out there and we still have this opened up. Now what we're going to do is, while this is opened up, double click on that. If you look, we've got RAR, double zero, zero uh, one, zero two. Okay, you want to make sure you do that because if for some odd reason you did double click on that, it's just going to come up with that. And it's just, there's no numbers or anything. Okay, what you want is this. And what you got to do is take the RAR folder, click and drag it to your desktop. Fairly simple. All right, now you close out of that, you take and double click on that. Brings up this new one here, as you can see, boom, it's an ISO. That's what we're looking for. That is what your PSP can play. So click, drag that, this little pop-up will come up every time. Okay, what you gotta do is hit browse. You're gonna go to your desktop and look for the game that you had, Rock Band. Double click, double click. There will always only be one up there, so that's all you gotta worry about. Click OK. Now, if you're doing it right, as you can see right there, the numbers are going up. That means it is extracting from all of those files, and when it is done, you will see an ISO pop up right here. It doesn't take that long at all. And there's the ISO. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of this. You are now able to delete these two things. Get rid of those. And take this. I always just do cut because I don't like having this shit on my computer. I just want it on my PSP. You plug your PSP in. This is what, well, this thing here. This is what comes up. Okay. Now, you want to make sure you have an ISO folder. If you do not, create a new folder, title it ISO, make it all capital. All right, that is where your ISOs are going to be placed. All you have to do is right click and paste it. Now, this takes a little while. So what I'm going to do is pause until it gets closer to time. All right, I apologize that I didn't uh, hit the record button but it, it, it finished uh, it's in my ISO folder here now what you do is take your PSP and eject it okay we've got my PSP here um, let it focus here maybe okay exit out there And it should go without saying that, like I said, or, you know, it has to be rooted. Your, your, your PSP has to be jailbroke. And, voila, there's Rock Band. I'll even start it up, prove that it works. Rock Band unplugged. Voila.